Dressery here in San Diego, California, and with me is... Uh, Myers McDougall, the certified sommelier from the Brasserie, You're welcoming you nightly, and you were just missing out on Mr. Parker's German <laughs> pronunciation. It was not pronunciation, he, he, he went German on me for a minute, and I wish the camera would have been on it because it was hysterical. <laughs> Well, maybe you have to cut more samples. I, I know, I, I tell you, that. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're drinking a 2007 St. Innocent uh, Montazi Vineyard Pinot Noir. Montazi. And uh, you seem to like this one quite a bit. Uh, you know, um, I've been following St. Innocent for a while now, and uh, of his vineyard designates, there is, they're all very nice, but um, I have a particular style that I like. And Montazi, to me, has that second palette and the integrated fruit and the full package that is the kind of Pinot and the style that I like. Yeah. So I think when we were smelling this too, you kind of noticed it's, it, 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 it smells like a good Oregon Pinot, but it's got something else. It's just got that little extra effort that I, I enjoy. Yeah. Some good, some good barrel aging on it. Um, uh, you had mentioned Tar and Roses right, right yeah, prior to it. Yeah, you know, and I still is, get that. it's crazy because you'd think uh, Nebbiolo, you would go Barolo, Barbaresco, but this Oregon Pinot has got it, so it's yeah. fun. Yeah, it's it's there, and um, as as we drink this, as the seconds go by, we're always tasting something a little bit different, which is really fun in a, in a wine. Oh, yeah. You know, versus just the one, the one kind of straight taste, this is uh, constantly evolving on us and uh, lends for a, a great deal of interest. Small case production? Uh, yeah, 1,176. And uh, you were telling me as well that it's biodynamic? It's they, uh, they do biodynamic methods. Everything's gravity and recycled so, you know, the soil and the vines. And, you know, the, and, that's great. Yeah. It means they take a lot of time with their wine. Grandmother steps on a grape. <laughs> yep. Maybe that's from Tazi. We were talking about where's the dance Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I smell a little Montazi of foot in the nose. Uh, <laughs> stop me in my tracks. Mm. Wow. That's very nice. You know, that's ready to drink now. It's, I think it's a 2007. It, it, uh, it has a little bit of um, uh, bright acidity on the edges of the palate. Mm -hmm. But I think with an hour or two of opening, that will soften up and it'll be a wonderful lot of food. Point. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a great point Mr. Parker just made. Mark even mentions that the uh, wine maker on the bottles that the, these wines do need a little bit of time opened, and that's that's kind of um, cool that he's pointing that out to, to you. And you know, I think uh, we taste the tar and roses now, and we get that tan in the city, but kind of as it smooths out over a couple hours. Um, and I always like waiting for wine like that. I'm like, ooh, it's just sitting right there. I can't wait. You know, I'm about to jump on it and drink it. I can't wait. So, as you can see, I get excited about this one. Yeah, that's where you have it at your breakfast table. Yeah. <laughs> so you can enjoy it for lunch as well. Yes. Oh, I like that idea. <laughs> <laughs> so, the lunch and breakfast Pinot Noir from now. <laughs> yeah. So, that's the 2007 St. Innocent Montazi Vineyard Pinot Noir. It's at $32.29 a bottle for the club members on a case price. Enjoy. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.